Hey, hey, hey. So today I'm talking about how to manage symptoms of fibroids. Yeah, so have you ever suffered with um, heavy periods, abdominal bloating, constipation? This may be due to fibroids. I'm Jackie Grant, your healthy hormone lifestyle advocate and founder of We Grant Fitness and Health. So today we're going to talk a lot about fibroids, what they are, how to manage them naturally. Okay, so fibroids are abnormal growth of the connective tissue and usually found in the uterus or the breast. And it's usually because of excess levels of estrogen in the body, which which cause them. And high levels of estrogen are often as a result of cyanoestrogens found in pesticides and plastics. So we'll talk more about that in a moment. Yeah. So the symptoms normally are heavy periods, abdominal bloating, menstrual cramps between periods. So sometimes there's pain during intercourse, painful urination or constipation. And anemia can result as a, a loss of blood. So it's very important to get some iron in. Since some of the symptoms are often obscure, it's best to contact your um, uh, doctor for um, diagnosis for any starting any um, type of um, regime. So factors that can increase your risk of fibroids are too much caffeine, too much fat in your diet, hormone imbalances, underactive thyroid, birth control, obesity, or a family history. And I've got a family history and, and that's why I've got fibroids. And they're, they're really small, really manageable, but I know other people, it is not manageable for them. And it can, you know, be really painful and really disturbing, especially when it comes to heavy periods. Now, when I'm talking about um, what can cause them, there's a lot of things like commercial meats, dairy products typically contain hormones that aggravate um, fibroids. Soft plastics like plastic bottles um, leach zyanoestrogen. So I always get a bottle, like a real bottle, um, because actually a bottle, a plastic bottle, if you notice, you could leave that bottle in your car, plastic bottle in your car for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, and it wouldn't go green. And so why is that? That's because it's coated inside, um, which actually causes it, it. It's coated inside, and when it's like in storage or in a shop, it it actually um, warms up, cools down, depending on the temperature in that um, actual property. So then, as it's warming up, it actually leaches um those zyners each students into the water so it's really best to carry a bottle like this rather than um actually carrying around plastic bottles yeah so pesticides which um reside on commercial growth produce, produce and also stimulate estrogen receptors and aggregate the condition so if you don't already know there's the clean 15 and a dirty dozen so what you want to be doing is looking which ones you're clean 15 um so you don't have to buy them organic and the dirty dozen which you do so pop in the comments if you want me to send you a list of the clean 15 and the dirty dozen okay so coffee really contributes heavily to the growth of fibroids um all of these should be avoided and eliminated so um Let's talk about zyanoestrogens for a bit, because zyanoestrogens, most people don't know, are a chemical compound from the environmental pollutants that bond in the, bond the estrogen receptors. So zyano is Greek, which means foreign or stranger. So zyanoestrogen are a foreign alien um, estrogen, basically. And um, zyanoestrogen mimic natural hormones and turn our cellular processes at the wrong turn on our cellular processes at the wrong time, or simply overstimulate them. A second way that they can disrupt the body is um, in terms of the hormonal processes is to bond to receptor sites without stimulating them and blocking normal hormonal processes. So. Some solutions that can help are progesterone cream um, in, on the ab, 
on your stomach may help to shift the balance between estrogen and progesterone. Yarrow has been known to um, break up fibroids. In many cases, a uh, well-known um, herbalist has cleared many cases by using that, that alone. Um, fibroids can be related to congestion in the liver, so a liver cleanse may help. I use a whole food cleanse with my clients when they start a program with me, and this can help to balance out your estrogen levels. Your liver is responsible for breaking down and eliminating excess estrogen in the system. So if it's not working effectively, it can impact on your health. Yeah. Um, obviously, a medical intervention would be the root movement of your uterus, but we really, really want to move away from that if we can. But this is something that can happen. So the uterus helps the body metabolize fats and having it removed can cause permanent problems with fat metabolism, which can lead to weight and heart problems. Um, a woman's uterus serves many important functions and should um, do her best to keep it for her entire life. Using some of the tips that I've given you um, will help um, to rid yourself of fibroids naturally without having a hysterectomy. If you struggle with any of these symptoms I've described, uh, starting a new regime, you know, and need a little bit of help, I'm running a five-day balance your hormones for fat loss um, workshop series, which starts on the 19th of October. So I'll put the link for you to register in the description if it is before that date um yeah and i hope to see you there guys so jackie grant your healthy hormone lifestyle advocate granting you better health